today it's like the 22nd or something like that of April um so I thought I might as well do my April favourites because it's getting near to the end and that month went really 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 quick so yeah um there's not a lot of makeup here there's no makeup here um there's not a lot so I'm gonna try and explain the stuff more better to you um so yeah let's get started Okay, so the first thing is this soft and gentle kind to skin deodorant. I love it, it smells so good and it literally is soft and kind to skin. So you can spray it on if you've got any cuts under your arms and it will just not hurt and not sting. So if you're looking for a deodorant like that, and this is perfect. And it's in soft jasmine and cocoa milk, so... That's why it smells really, really good. The next deodorant thing is my Lynx deodorant for her. Um, this is a really good smell. It's just very summery and this bottle lasts you forever. It does for me anyway. It lasts me for a really long time. I've had this since July last year, so really, really long time. Okay, so now I'm kind of for my face and helping the acne problem and all that kind of stuff. The first thing I have is my, it's kind of like a face primer, also like a cream and everything in one. Um, I explain more about this in my video. Um, I also make a hair leave-in conditioner, so go check that out if you haven't. I'll try and link it down below, but it may not work, so I'm not sure about that. Um... Then this will always and forever, ever, ever be my favourite. Like if I don't show it, it's always there though. Um, this is Original Source Mint and Tea Tree Shower Gel. But I actually use this as something to wake you up in the morning. And it does amazing. But if you don't like, kind of like the burning feeling on your eyes. Then I wouldn't really go for this. Because that's kind of what it does. Because the mint is quite strong. And it wakes you up and it's perfect for the morning. And I'm kind of nearly right now. I've got quite a bit left. That'll probably last me for about two more weeks. So I need to get some of these when I'm in town with Lozzy next. Okay, so the next thing is this RE, and then like a little dash, and then Gen Oil. But I just call it Bio Oil, because um, that's just what we call it in our country. Um, and it's for stretch marks scars, dry skin, blemishes and hopefully if you watch my videos you'll know that I have a scar here so I use it for that and then I saw that it had blemishes on it and I've got a couple down here um, so this has definitely helped it get rid of its redness and just really helped it kind of not go away completely but not very noticeable that it's there so this is a really good buy and then the next thing, oh, these is quite expensive. Um, uh, it's normally about a tenner, so it's quite expensive, but not too much. And the next thing is just this soap hand gel. Number one, it has a really good smell, but it actually doesn't have a scent to it. I just don't know, it smells really, like, clean and fresh. So if you like that smell, then you'd like this. And it kills 99% bacteria. And... It's just so good for your face, it just kills all the unwanted germs on your face. The stuff that's going to cause the spots and the blemishes to swell up, then it will kill it because it will kill 99% bacteria. So it's really good and I love it. So that's just the box or the packaging. And it also has a little squeezy pump, which I love as well because it's so much easier than shaking it. It's just a two pumps and then it will cover your whole face so that's amazing the next thing I have is this Pure Pink by George Asda um, 
that's really good it's just a perfect spring scent it's flowery and sweet and delish absolutely delicious and I'm not sure how much this was because it was for a birthday present but it wasn't that expensive because it's from Georgia as well so they don't do that expensive stuff so that's just the packaging and it's really cute and it's got all the flowering details down here and here as well um, and I love it and I'm almost run out so definitely be getting me some more of this and so definitely. the next items are clothing and things like that really and I'm going to show you all this stuff that I'm wearing in a second so yeah this bag I got from Primark um, I don't know it was for a Christmas present but I know it was about £12-ish from my sister it's fake fur fake leather and then it's got fake little gold rings here and on the other side and then it's got this fake gold like I'm not sure if you can see it it's got like bar of fake gold and then fake gold around here with the fake leather tassels and I think it goes really great with this outfit and there's a lot going on in this outfit which you will see in a minute and this just puts the whole a bam in this outfit it's just filled with a load of junk at the moment and it's also got like the fake leather at the back so I really like it and I love how it's not all real fake uh, and it's not all real leather and it's fake so it looks real and it isn't so that's a really good plus side okay so the next thing is this top um it's in my spring haul I believe but if not it's £12 from Primark and it's just denim and then a lot of print going on in the sleeve so I love that top and then the next thing are these shorts they've just got the American flag on it and yes you have to have a lot of guts to wear this outfit because it has a lot of patterns and it also has denim on denim which is a big risk so you just need to remember that if you're going to buy this outfit so that's a close up of the shorts they're quite um well printed and very good fitting they're high waisted and um i got them from pilot but i know you can get them a lot cheaper but the print of the um shorts is not as good as it looks on there and then i also like to put this um camo jacket over the top just to kind of give it a different kind of vibe not so powerful i think it kind of calms it down if you're looking for some kind of jacket to go over it and i got some feathers i just put them on by myself and there's me just doing a little spin okay also with clothing i've been loving these cute little panda um slippers and they've also got the grippy on the back i'm not sure if you can see very well up here they've got the grippy um and they're amazing and they were about three pounds from Primark and I love the detailing on it with like the pink little bow and that is so soft inside like it's like the softest thing ever inside and they are cute which is also a bonus so my mum got me these because I'm always pinching hers and I don't actually have slippers like this little slippers of my own like pump slippers. Okay so there's a lot of clothing items going on it's just because I've been wearing a lot more clothes recently like yeah that didn't make sense but you know what I mean and then this are piggy slippers as I told you I have massive slippers and I don't really have any pump slippers so I got these absolutely anxious guy from Primark and they're discontinued now so you won't be able to look for them um, but I'm not sure where else you can get them. They were about three pound, and they've lasted me for years. And they're just pigs with the little pink ears and the like, little nose and the eyes, and all like the like kind of like the um, skin that they have on the pigs. So I love them, and they're just so cute. But my dog hates them, and he kills them. So that's the downside for that. <laughs> okay, so for the songs, um. You all basically know that they are my favourite band, so there's no point in you me telling you that 
I listen to them songs 24-7 and they're always in my head. Mark, love him! He's so funny. Um, but another song that isn't so obvious that you might not know that I like is this song. <laughs> 